How's it going, beautiful people from Facebook? This is another session. Oops, sorry about that. Of oh, my, uh, sorry, I hope I'm not making anyone dizzy with this movement. Uh, Facebook Live, of course, right? And I started sketching this and I just wanted to do a painting on it. And hopefully, you guys get to enjoy it. So, here we go. I finished sketching this little piece before we before we move on somewhere else. That way, uh, that way, it looks like a more completed thing. Okay. So this was uh, I don't know. This was gonna be something else, but then I started drawing, and then I was like, oh, let it be a let it be a, a city. Well, a street, right? And then I was like, okay, cool. Let's do that. With some long shadows, so you know there's heavy light happening. The light's coming from here, of course, right? But being me, the light might be coming from here. I don't know. <laughs> you never know with me. You never know. I, I am I am muy loco like that. It's all about making it, making it however you want to, because that's art. That's art, allowing things to 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 be. And so, I'm gonna allow this to be. So I'm going to use a little bit of black here. Okay. Why? I don't know, there's something about silhouettes at night. If it depends how you want to create the work, right? How you want to paint it. But in in it's been my experience that if you uh make them bulky, you can always cut. Right? What I mean by that you'll see right now, you can always cut. But if you make them thin, adding uh if you're making thinner, adding to it becomes much more difficult. At least in my experience, I don't know. It's just one one artist's point of view, guys. Okay, this is not uh, uh, it's not gospel here. This is one point of view. So I'm gonna switch it over to another little brush. So we don't know what's happening. Something's happening there. This is one of the things that I've talked about Delacroix doing. He allowed you to, to sort of make up what's happening because... <clears throat> excuse me, that's the power of the mind. You know, the mind, the mind suggests things. And it's based on an experience, memory, and all these things, right? So the mind... The mind is going to suggest that something is happening based on your personal experiences. That's why artwork is such a personal uh, experience. You know, you, you, might, you might see something, of course you're going to see something that I can't see and it's going to resonate differently with you. But if, if I do this to a T, meaning I'm, I'm mimicking you know something, and there's nothing wrong with realism. I'm just I'm just saying on the this style why I prefer this style. Um, if I do it to a T, you have all the information. But if if I leave information out, uh, you're able to to not just make your own conclusions, but you're able to pull out information from your storage, from your personal storage. You know. And it's going to mean something completely, because the, the dynamic of your memory is, and of course, everybody's, you know, it's so different. We have, we've, we've stored things over many, many years, and who knows, things that we don't even know that science, you know, I, I don't know, maybe we even stored stuff for, for millennia or, you know, I don't know, centuries, who knows. I don't know. I can't, I can't say that I don't know. But <laughs> I'm just guessing. 
<laughs> I'm just guessing, you guys. I don't know. But, uh... I'm going to use a little bit of gray here. And then, some tan. The tan, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it with burnt sienna and gray. And this gray is very direct gray. This is just black, black with white. Okay? But uh, sometimes when I'm, when I'm feeling impressionist, I, I like to create my, my gray from green and, and red. Okay? So it's just... It just depends if I'm feeling impressionist or not, you guys. <laughs> if I'm feeling impressionist. Okay. So there it is. So, there you go. Something's happening. They're going somewhere and we don't know. They are going somewhere and we, we are not invited, only we are ex ex spectators. They made the decision to go somewhere. How many times in life do we feel like that, you know? We, we, we made a decision or someone made a decision to go somewhere and all you can do is just watch. It's really all one can do sometimes, just watch. It's, it might be an uncomfortable position sometimes to be, but um, many times is the only position one has available. And, and this is it. So uh, make sure this guy doesn't fade from us. Let's make a uh, his or her clothing shine a bit. A bit a bit action going. Like the Lacroix, with a little bit of action. Well, the Lacroix used to put a lot of action, but I'm okay with putting a little bit of action. <laughs> Guys, uh, if you're if you're uh, enjoying this. Um, Share it with your with your with your friends with your art friends. Like it or don't like it. Uh, let me know. Uh, let me know uh, that I'm bringing value to you. This is this is really I I I want to be able to bring some value to people. There's there's so much stuff we one can be doing and and many times many times some stuff doesn't doesn't bring us value. And I just you know I just thought to myself I need to start a. I need to start recording myself painting. I would have loved that. I would have loved going to, to an artist atelier or studio or whatever, however they're called, and be able to to stand next to his or her shoulder and and, and be able to to, uh, to see the artist at work.
That would have been such an awesome experience. So if you know someone, if you think of someone who would enjoy watching this, tag them, tag her. Let her know what we're doing here. Pretty cool. Now, one of the cool things here for me is be able to. Sometimes I'll use one brush, guys. Sometimes I'll use uh, two brushes, three brushes. It just depends. Uh, it really has a lot to do with with the the nature of the painting. How I feel the the painting is. It needs uh, whatever it needs. Uh, many times when I impose myself on the painting and I and I try to only use one, you know, one thing or a certain thing, a certain tool, like a, a palette knife or, or just one brush or whatever. Many times, um, if if the, if if I try to impose that on the painting, I know it sounds so weird, but uh, hear me out. Uh, the painting kind of punishes me. <laughs> I know it sounds so weird. <laughs> But the fact is like no nope, no nope, no nope, no nope. you gotta let me pick so I I, I I I one of the things that I like to do is listen to the painting in a in a way I, I, it's not literal okay guys so I don't think that I'm losing it uh, <laughs> but in a very subtle way you listen to what the painting is asking you know sometimes the painting asks uh, a little extra uh, another tool change. Or, you know, whatever. So there you go, guys. I'm going to finish this painting uh, and post the finish, uh, the finished image. And I hope you guys liked it. Let me get a little close-up. Let me, let me get it closer so that way you guys can see what's happening. Very cool. Muy, muy, muy bonito. Thank you so much. And I will be posting some new stuff very soon. Bye-bye.